Hi everyone, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Fine, oh nice. It's good to see you again. Es bueno verles otra vez. It's good to see you again. And I'll see you again. Ya, ya, ya han escuchado la canción de See You Again, ¿verdad? ¿O no la han escuchado? No. No, nadie. Juan Carlos, la has escuchado, creo que Juan Carlos ya sé, sí. See You Again. <laughs> It's a good song. Es muy bonita, se la recomiendo. See you again. ¿De quién es Juan Carlos? I, do, I forgot the, the singer. I don't know. You don't remember. I don't remember. It's not from Ed Sheeran, right? No es de Ed Sheeran, no? Ed Sheeran es. Ed Sheeran es, ok. Estaba adivinando, I was guessing. Bueno, pero le pegué entonces. <laughs> ok, so welcome everybody. Bienvenidos. Todos, welcome again. Bienvenidos otra vez a esta nueva sesión, ya casi terminando la semana, right? Almost at the end of the, of the week. Y por supuesto, recordando también, ¿verdad? Tomando el tiempo para hacer el recordatorio de las tareas, que para el día viernes, por favor, ya deben tener todo completo. Eh, normalmente en el módulo anterior a veces se los dejaba para el sábado, pero a veces uno corría en el sábado. Okay, a veces el sábado en la mañana yo subí así el reporte, pero dejémoslo para el viernes mejor, para que así el viernes ya todos lo hagan. Y yo temprano, el, el viernes, al terminar la sesión, hago el reporte de una vez y ya quedamos libres el fin de semana. Okay? Bueno, los que trabajan el sábado no quedan tan libres, ¿verdad? Pero la idea es ya no ir con esa carga de que tengo que hacer una tarea el sábado todavía. Así que viernes ya debe estar listo todo. Everything has to be ready, ¿ok? Para que vayan tranquilos a su, al menos su domingo a descansar. ¿Ya? Yeah? So that's, that, that's, that's important. Ok, so welcome again. Bienvenidos otra vez entonces. Welcome again. Veo que ya se agregaron otros. So I will pass the attendance in a moment. Le voy a pasar la asistencia en un momento. I will pass the attendance in a moment. I guess I will do it now. Lo haré ahorita mejor. Son tres veces. I will do it now. So let's see. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Teacher, yeah. eh, right. voy a estar un momento sin el video porque voy de camino para mi casa. Ok, perfecto. Mm -hmm. So, stay as a listener. Quédate como oyente entonces ahorita. Ana Beatriz. Hey. Ana Beatriz. No, right. Carlos David. No está Carlos David. He is not here. Ok, Edgar Alexander. I'm here, teacher, igual que la compañera, voy en camino, pero aunque sea ahí de oyente, voy a estar. Ok, perfect. Thank you for informing, Ember. I'm here. Good. Hazel Sarai. Bon appetit, Maria Elena. Jacqueline, is that? <laughs> She's not connected. Jessica Lourdes. She's not connected. Jorge Eduardo. Present. Good. Voy de camino todavía, pero ya, ya casi me conecto en la computadora. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. Saben, me parece que alguien dijo que Jessica estaba enferma, ¿verdad? Sí, me parece que alguien me, me comentó. Sí, sí, sí eh, yo estaba sintiendo mal. Ok, ¿saben cómo eh, fue? Ayer fue... No connection, María. No internet connection, I think. She ran out of internet, I think. Juan Carlos? I'm here. All right, good. I'm here. Are you okay, Juan Carlos? You sound a little sick. Te escuchas un poquito. De la garganta. Yes. All right, good. Thank you. Uh, Loida? I'm here. All right. Loida, me asustó ayer con un grito, Loida. ¿Qué pasó? Dije yo, le pasaría algo. No sé, ¿por qué grité? Ay, es que me dijo que un montón de veces que no había tenido internet, por eso ahora me viene a la casa de una amiga para que no me tiras. Dije, nadie. Me siento. Ok, it's ok, no problem. María Elena. Ya, yeah, it's ok, it's ok. It's ok, no problem. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Nelson. Qué raro que Mr. Gabarrete no esté conectado, siempre está conectado. Néstor Iván. I'm here. ¿Qué? Oscar Arnulfo. 
Present teacher. All right. Roxana Rugamas. She's not connected. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me continue here. Wendy Natalie. Wendy Natalie. Okay, Natalie. Thank you. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joanna. Present. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Jocelyn Joanna. I'm here. All right. Roberto Antonio. Yesenia Marisol. Yesenia Marisol. Ok, perfecto. ¿Alguien conoce a Roberto Antonio de los que están, de los que, se, de los que ingresaron a ese grupo? De, de los que ingresaron a ese módulo conmigo. No, no hay día. Es? No tienen idea de quién es. No hay día. Ok, no problem. It's okay then. All right. So, um, just to. Just to refresh, just to refresh your mind or, or just to refresh my mind too, okay? Just remember, uh, let's review yesterday's class. What did we study yesterday? Do you remember what we studied yesterday? What did we study yesterday? Singular present, third person, singular and plural. Okay, so we started third person, singular and plural in the simple present. Okay, very good. So um, can you give me, or, or can you tell me more about the topic? Pueden hablarme más del tema? Can you tell me more about the topic, please? I'm all ears. Soy todo oídos ahorita. I'm all ears. Yes, Loida. It is he, she, or it is. Ah. Um, right. Is das, das, das. Yeah, you can continue. But if is they are or we is do. Okay. No mm -hmm. es, right? No es. Oh, no es. Okay. So what you mean is that, uh, for example, for he, she, and it, we put a letter S in the verb, okay? We put a letter S in the verb. Le ponemos una letra S al verbo. We put a letter S or ES in the verb, okay? It depends on the rule. Depende de la regla. And for I, you, we, they, we put no S, right? We don't put the S. No le ponemos la S. We don't put the S, okay? Thank you, Loida. Thank you very much. Anything else? Algo más? Anything else you want to, to add? Algo más que quieran agregar? Anything else you want to add? No? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, we studied the simple present, right? Estudiamos el presente. Simple. We studied the simple present. And we studied uh, the pronouns he, she, and it. And we said, y dijimos que le ponemos ese al verbo. For example, he, she, it dances. He dances at night, for example. He dances in the morning. Or what? Maybe, maybe we could say, tal vez podríamos decir, maybe we could, uh, we could say, um, what? Study. Here we say, studies, right? Le quitamos la Y y le ponemos IES. She studies English from 8 to 10. Yeah? So studies. So in the simple present, we do that. En el presente simple hacemos eso con los verbos. For he, she, and it only. Solo para el he, she, it. Yeah? So we started that. Estudiamos eso. And for questions, para preguntas, ¿cómo hacíamos preguntas? How do you make questions in the present simple? Do you remember? Does she, does he, does exactly. it. Exactly. We say, does he, does she, or does it, or does Nestor. Does Nestor speak English? Or does Yesenia, porque Yesenia es como decir she, right? Does Yesenia check email every day? Does Gloribel uh, check merchandise in the morning? Does. Porque estamos hablando de tercera persona. Or does Juan Carlos. Does Juan Carlos um, uh, make a route every day? Yes. So does Juan Carlos. Very good. So that's how we make questions. And how do you answer? Y cómo contestan? Si yo pregunto, if I ask you, 
Um, does Oscar check email every day? ¿Cómo, contest ¿Cómo contestan? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Con el auxiliar que se pregunta, con eso se contesta. Yes. So if I ask you, si yo pregunto a uh, Do you attend classes every day? ¿Qué me contestan? Do you, you, todos ustedes, do you attend classes every day? Yes, I do. Ah, but it's for everyone. La pregunta es para todos. It's for everybody. You say, yes, I do, or yes, we do. Yes, we, yes, do. we do. Yes, we do, because the question is in plural. Do you attend classes every day? Yes, we do. All right? So that's uh, basically that. Very good. So you answer with the auxiliary at the beginning. Contestan con el auxiliar. Si le preguntan con do, you answer with do. Si le preguntan con does, you answer with does. Yeah? So that's important. Eso es importante. That's important. Very good. Algo que se me haya escapado que no, que no esté repasando ahorita? Help me, please. If there is something I didn't say. Si hay algo que no dije, es importante. No? Very good. Now listen up. Escuchen, escuchen eso. Listen up. So for the... Let me share a screen with you. Déjenme compartir pantalla. Let me share a screen. So look. Um, for the present simple, for the present simple, it's important to use, it's important to use time expressions too. Es importante usar las expresiones de tiempo, time expressions, okay? For example, you can use, what? You can use, um, hold on a second, solo denme un segundo. Okay, you can use every day, for example. You can use, um, Every week, every month, or every year. For example, you can say, I check email every day, todos los días. I check email every week, cada semana. I check email every month, cada mes, and every year, cada año, right? Every, using every. I check email every day, every week, every month, or every year. Or you can say daily. What is daily? ¿Qué es daily en este caso? What is daily in this case? A diario. A diario. A diario. A diario, diariamente. Ok, very good. So you can say, podríamos decir, I supervise um, workers daily. Or I type reports daily. I visit clients daily. Ok. Then we can say weekly. What is weekly? Semanal. Semanal. Mente. Mente. Semanalmente. <laughs> And finally, monthly. What is monthly? Mensualmente. Mensualmente. So, listen. For these expressions, you can use them at the end of the sentence. Las pueden utilizar al final de la oración. En presente simple, at the end of the sentence, right? Just to give you more examples, para darles más, más ejemplos. So, you can say, I check email every day. I visit clients uh, monthly. Or I... What? I can say, I go, I go to Morazan weekly, semanalmente, weekly, I go to Morazan weekly. So you use them at the end, las usan al final, okay? Yeah? Very good. So please, think about one example using these expressions. Piensa en un ejemplo acerca de su rutina usando estas, estas expresiones. Something you do every day, something you do weekly or monthly or... Surely, I don't know. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Loida. What is the difference between quickly or, or quickly the fast? Mm -hmm. Quickly and weekly. What is the difference? Uh -huh. The pronunciation and the meaning. You say for, for rapidamente, you say quickly, quick, quickly, quickly, quickly. And for semanalmente, you say weekly. We, weekly, como we, weekly, yeah? And the meaning, Thank right? You. Yeah, and the meaning, el significado, and the meaning, of course, yeah? Quickly and weekly. Quickly, quickly, and weekly, semanalmente, all right? Very good, so think about one example. Piensa en un ejemplo, solo un ejemplo, just one example, okay? One example about your routine using these expressions or using one of these expressions, usando una de estas expresiones. So think, take a minute. Si me dan dos ejemplos, no hay problema. There's no problem, okay? 
El problema es que no me den ninguno. All right. You don't have to write it. No tienen que escribirlo. You don't have to write it. Are you ready? Oscar Arnulfo, can you tell me one or two examples about your routine, please? I have two meetings at weekly. Weekly, very good. I have two meetings weekly. Yes. Okay, only one example, solo un ejemplo? Yes, only one. Okay, perfect, thank you very much. Ember. Uh, I go to San Miguel Bay. Oh, very good. Okay, thank you very much. Yesenia. I, I teach classes daily say. I teach classes? Uh, daily say. Daily, daily say. Only daily. 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 Only daily. Solo daily. I teach classes uh, daily. Okay. I, de I teach classes daily. Yeah, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. Ana Beatriz, your turn. I close the the other daily. Oh, I nice. meeting the projects uh, weekly. Nice, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to uh, Maria Elena. You finish eating, Maria Elena. Now you can you can share. <laughs> uh ten report uh, weekly. Check any email daily. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to Wendy and Natalie. I teach four class weekly. Yeah. Only one, solo uno. Um, I check homework daily. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. That's excellent. All right, let's listen to Loida. I pray daily. Okay, I pray daily. I like it. And only one, solo uno. And I, I, uh, I go to my friends quickly. Quickly. Weekly. Okay, I, you can say I visit maybe. I visit my friends weekly. All right? I visit my friends quickly. Okay, thank you, Loida. Okay, let's listen to Nestor. I visit to my family monthly. Oh, nice. Only one or? I, I take a shower daily. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you, Nestor. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, maybe in the, in the example, I visit, uh, you don't say I visit to my mother. You say I visit my mother. You don't have to say to. No es necesario decir I visit to my mother, okay? Yeah, only I visit my mother. Okay, thank you, Nestor. Let's listen to, um, let me see here, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos? I give the report routes every day. And I have to check uh, weekly. To check what? To check? Weekly. weekly. Ah, yeah, but... Weekly. To check, pero, but to check what? You have to check email, email. or ah, email. Email. Okay, email. okay email. repeat the example. <clears throat> I check the email weekly. Okay, much better. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Uh, that's very good. Okay, Glory Bell. Visit my grandfather's weekly. Oh, nice. Excellent. Only one or you have another one? Hello. <laughs> Only one. Okay, thank you. It's okay, no problem. Okay, Sarai. Hello, teacher. Hello. I make invoice daily. Okay. I check receivable accounts uh, weekly. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. Receivable. I, I remember the word. But yeah, recuerdo la palabra receivable. Me metiste un gran problema con esa palabra, recuerda. <laughs> All right, thank you, Hazel. Uh, Jorge Aquino. I wash the car uh, weekly. Yeah. I buy pupusas 
weekly. <laughs> oh my God, I love pupusas. Thank you very much, Jorge Aquino. Thank you very much. Now you made me feel hungry. Ya me hizo que me diera hambre. You made me feel hungry. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Thank you very much. Okay, so thank you for sharing. And uh, remember, the idea of this activity uh, was to use every day, pero nadie usó every day, every day, every month, every week, or weekly, monthly, daily, or yearly, incluso anualmente, que sería yearly. Okay, thank you for sharing. Thank you for your participation. Okay, now let's go to the next activity. So look, in the next activity, I have this. I have this chart. Tengo este pequeño cuadrito. I have this chart. Uh, but first I want to ask, ¿al ¿algunos tienen impreso el material? ¿Pueden enseñarme si lo tienen impreso algunos, please? ¿Alguien tiene impreso el material? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Si lo tienen impreso, if you have it printed, uh, this activity, esta actividad está en la página, let me check here. Para que parte. Uh, page 17, I guess. Página 17, page... Oh, no, no, hold on. Espera un momento. No 15? Ahí. 15, sorry. 16, it's on page... Hold on a second. Espera un momento. Oh, my God, I lost it. Ya la perdí. 13. 13, okay. Yeah, page 13. Thank you very much for helping. Está en la página 13, page 13. So you can go to the chart. So what will you do? ¿Qué van a hacer entonces? What will you do? So listen, just let me go here. Okay, so what will you do in this activity? So in this activity, you need to write five questions you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his job. So here you write the activities. For example, what questions can you write here? ¿Qué preguntas pueden escribir acá? So using the present simple, usando el presente simple, podría ser una pregunta, do you, do you check, can be one question, right? Do you check email? Voy a agarrar todo el espacio, pero igual la idea es que escriban una pregunta por espacio. Every, every day, usando las time expressions, using the time expressions, okay? Do you check email every day? Okay, so here you need to write one, two, three, four, five questions. Van a hacer cinco preguntas aquí en este espacio de acá, okay? Five questions, el time lo dejan pendiente. You leave it pending. ¿Está claro qué vamos a hacer? Five questions, ¿ok? Yeah. ya. Ok, let's work. Trabajemos entonces en las cinco preguntas. Five questions. Using do you, usando do you, do you, ¿ok? Let's go ahead. Adelante. You can recycle vocabulary, ¿ok? Pueden reciclar vocabulario del que hemos estudiado. Like check email or what? Uh, plan meetings or arrive to work, ¿ok? Um, what else? How we started? ¿Qué más hemos estudiado de vocabulario que pueden utilizar? Attend meetings, ¿ok? Visit clients, visit customers. So you can use this vocabulary. Pueden reciclar ese vocabulario. You can recycle.
Only five questions. One question for each space. Una pregunta para cada espacio. One question for each space, ¿ok? Hello. Hello. Yo voy a ingresar, pero realmente no sé qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Okay, uh, so Nelson, right now you are writing questions con do you. Están haciendo preguntas con do you. Cinco preguntas. Eso está en la página 13. Hay un cuadrito, ok? Al final. Preguntas con do you y usando vocabulario. Do you check emails de lo que hemos estudiado? Do you attend meetings? Ok? Y ahí le vamos a agregar una expresión, una expresión de tiempo como every day, todos los días, o daily, diariamente, o weekly, que es semanalmente. So, that, basically that, básicamente eso, basically that. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, no problem. Oh, thank you for putting the hand. Gracias por poner la manita siempre, los que ya terminaron, okay? Thank you very much. Igual, los que vayan terminando, vayan poniendo la manita. So you put the hand, please. Thank you. Thank you for the initiative. So the same, when you finish, uh, put, put your hand up, okay? Ponga la manito levantada, put your hand up, please. Oh, Mauricio, Antoni, Mauricio, Antonio, finish. Oh, Arnulfo, tu, Ember, Natalie, Juan Carlos, Loida, Maria, Yesenia, Nestor, and Jorge, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, uh, so time is over. Se acabó el tiempo. So let me explain the activity. Uh, uh, using, uh, using these questions, you will go to breakout rooms. 
and you will practice or you will ask your classmates the questions, okay? For example, imagine I practice with Oscar and I will ask Oscar, right? Uh, Oscar, do you check email? And if, Os if Oscar says, yes, I do. Si Oscar me dice, yes, I do. I will, I will ask him another question. Le haré la siguiente pregunta. What time? What time? And then he can tell me, oh, at 8 a.m., a las 8 a.m. Y voy a llenar la parte en el cuadrito que dice time. Creo que dice time, right? I don't remember. Help me, please. Ayúdenme a ver qué es lo que dice. Yes, it says time. Yes, time. It says time, exactly. So, time. Another, another example. So now imagine I practice with, um, with Yesenia. So I will ask Yesenia, okay, Yesenia, just to give you another example. Yesenia, um, do you attend meetings every day? Si Yesenia me dice, no, I don't, teacher. No, I don't. Entonces ya no le pregunto what time, porque no, no, no atiende reuniones. She doesn't attend meetings every day, okay? Yeah, is it clear what you have to do? ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? So you will work in, you will work in, in pairs. Okay, vamos a ir a trabajar entonces en parejas para completar el cuadro. You will work in pairs to complete the chart. And please remember the activities. Traten de recordar las actividades que hacen y que no hacen, okay? Remember the activities. They do and they don't do. And you report later. Van a reportar después. When you report, cuando reporten, van a decir, for example, you, you will say, Um, Yesenia doesn't attend meetings every day. Usamos el doesn't, negativo, right? Porque ella me dijo que no. Yesenia doesn't attend meetings every day. And then you will say, Oscar checks email at eight. Ah, ya estoy reportando lo que Oscar me dijo. Oscar checks email at eight. Yeah? ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yeah? Yes. Ok, let's go to working pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas entonces. Let's go to working pairs. Por favor, todos los que están conectados, acepten la solicitud. Porque yo las parejas las hago en base a los que están conectados. Ok, ahorita tengo 19. Porque Don Nelson siempre se conecta con dos, con dos dispositivos. Ok, so I have uh, 19. Edgar, creo que todavía va de camino. Edgar, are you on the way? Creo que va de camino Edgar ahorita. Ok, solo tomaré en cuenta entonces. Ya, ya. Ok, solo tomaré en cuenta 18 por el momento. Ok, 18. All right, so let's go. Vamos a hacer parejas entonces. Let's go and make first. Perfecto. Ok. Un que se llama a Oscar. Ok. Yo hice, yo hice preguntas no del trabajo. ¿Verdad? Eh, como, por, como por ejemplo, sí. do, you, ¿do you go to the supermarket every weekly? Ah, pero yo creo que solamente es sin ponerle el... sin ponerle la, la semana el tiempo no, sin el tiempo porque después va el time ajá oh, do you go to supermarket ah sí ajá do you go to supermarket ok 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 ya mm. 
¿Qué sería? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Y ahora, what time? ¿A qué hora? Um, Saturday, uh, 3 p.m. <laughs> ok. Es Saturday. at o es in, in Saturday. In Saturday, creo. I'm sorry. Okay. Sí, sábado eh, por la tarde. Bueno, on. sábado a las 3. On Saturday. On, on Saturday. Ah, okay. On. Thank you, teacher. On Vamos Saturday. a ver ahora una de okay. ustedes, una, una pregunta de ustedes. Ah, va, chévere. Eh, Oscar, do you work at the school? Perdón. Do you work at the school? No, I don't. Okay. No, work ver, María. At... Um, Abigail, do you type reports? Time, todo el día. All time. <laughs> All time. A su cabo no se queda. <laughs> Do you arrange meeting weekly? Arrange, creo que, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que arrange sí, arreglo. Eso, uh -huh. no, no, no. Yes, I do. Ajá. Uh -huh. What time? Eh, ah, pero me puso usted arrange. Meeting. Ajá, uh -huh, pero eh, la periodicidad. Weekly, a Weekly. la semana. Ah, a la semana. Ah, Ajá. sí, yes, I do. Eh, a 2 p.m. A p.m. ¿Y cómo podemos decir qué día? Eh, What day? Okay. On Monday, in, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Thursday, on Friday. Mm -hmm. You can say Gwen, Roxana. You can say ¿Sí? when, cuando, when. when. Podría decir Ajá. when. When, on Monday. Ya. Ya. Es Continue. que yo dije que día. Uh -huh. En el caso que se diga que yo, eh, que si yo, uh, que se do you go to work every day, debería contestar yes, I do, ¿verdad? Yeah. Eh, se entendería do you work do you go se entendería como a like uh, vas a trabajar do you go to work that's the meaning of it o sea eh, vas a trabajar eh, se refiere a que se desplaza sí. uno de un lugar a, de la casa al trabajo exactly ok el travel okay. Es, es de se puede ocupar el o... travel is para trips para trips si se transporta, teacher, porque eso era lo que yo quería preguntar. Y le dije, do you travel to the work every day? No, in this case, maybe you can say commute, que sería una palabra más apropiada. Commute. Commute. Oh, mute. Commute, que es como viajar a trabajar. Es como viajar a trabajar. Commute. In fact, okay. Do you commute to work every day? Commute. Oh. Con doble M. Commute. Uh -huh. Commute. Ah. Uh, yeah, commute. Creo que es con doble si, M. I don't remember well. Que si commuto. Uh -huh. Yeah, commute. Uh -huh. Do you okay. commute to work every day? Okay. Vaya, Rivas, hoy le toca. Okay. Uh, do you check email every day? Yes, I do. What time? Every day. All, all, all day, eh, verdad, teacher? Si es todo el día. Ajá, uh -huh. you can say all day. Mm -hmm. All day. All day. All day. Mm -hmm. all day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, all day. Do you attend meeting weekly? Yes, I do. What time? Do you call clients every day? Yes, I do. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, yeah, tell me. 
Eh, no sé, yo escribí un par de preguntas, pero no sé este, cómo estamos ahí. Ok, adelante. <ríe> eh, en las en las questions, yo puse, do you attend a meeting? Yeah, it's okay. Do you, maybe, maybe in this case, maybe you can say meetings in plural. Do you attend meetings? Do you plural. attend meetings? meetings. Uh, do you attend meetings? Ahí luego puede decir weekly or monthly or, la idea es usar también las expresiones de tiempo. Use the, the time expressions, okay? En la pregunta? Yes. O en la respuesta? Si las eh, sería en la pregunta porque en sí la, 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 en, la, en, la, en la segunda pregunta le, eh, le decimos what time, a qué hora so you, you can say for example uh, do you check email weekly yes and then what time, a qué horas what time, weekly, puede ser weekly ok eh, porque la, la, is... por, ajá, because the second question la segunda pregunta the second question is what time ¿A qué hora si te dice que sí, right? If he or she says yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. What time? Uh, yes, Néstor. Eh, sí, eso lo tendríamos que poner en el espacio de time. No, no, ese weekly va ya con la pregunta. Uh, si te dice la hora, for example, imagine that Gloribel says, imagínate que Gloribel te diga, yes, I do. Luego tú le preguntas, what time? ¿A qué horas? Maybe she says at 9 a.m., y luego tú escribes la hora que ella te diga, at 9 a.m., ¿ok? Ok. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah, it's Gracias. okay, no problem, no problem, it's okay. La última sería, do you write a report daily? Yes, I do. What time? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, what time? At 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, number two, sería, do you go the shopping weekly? Uh, and monthly, monthly and Saturday. Yes, <laughs> I do shopping <laughs> monthly. Okay. Um, entonces le voy a poner monthly aquí. Para que, okay. para que sea la respuesta que sea. Uh, what I go the shopping. Is at at um, eleven eleven. Uh, my family. Eleven. ¿Cómo? Ajá, uh -huh, las once con mi familia. Ah. Uh, okay. At eleven. Uh, number three. Do you check email every day? Yes, I I do check email uh, sometimes. Uh, what I check email? Is, uh, seven seven a.m. at seven a.m. Okay. Uh, number four. Do you have vacation every day? No sé si así está bien la pregunta, teacher. Gracias. Hola, teacher. Yeah, sorry. I was, the thing that the, the microphone was not active. Uh, do you have vacation every day? Uh huh. Yeah, the question no, is. Every year. Every, every year. Ah, yes. Every, every year. Uh, It's okay. Eso. Every year. Okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, I do vacation is uh, March 
August and December. Ok. Eh, sería entonces... Ahí quizás no iría como guapo. Ah, con horas, sería, sino que... Más que horas empieza. Maybe, you, maybe, ah, maybe que... you can say when. In this case. Tal vez podría ser when, cuando, porque se uh -huh. dice los meses. Ajá, uh, when. Ah, puede poner los, ah, okay. poner los meses, Jocelyn. You can write the months. In August, April, okay. and December. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, ok. Ok. March, dijo, ¿verdad, Ana Beatriz? March. Uh -huh. Y March, December. August. And December. Mm -hmm. December. December. Ok. Y number five sería, do you visit a family every month? Your family. Uh, ah, yes, your family. Your family. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Entonces I do. Sería, <laughs> o sea, do you, vis, do you visit your family every month? Exactly. Exactly, just Okay. Me. And... Is eh, weekly, weekly, uh, como se decía, semanal, perdón. Weekly. Ah, weekly. Weekly, weekly. Entonces le voy a weekly. cambiar, sería en vez de I month, do. sería weekly. Ok. Weekly. Exacto. Para que sea respuesta que sí, vea. Vaya, do you yes. visit your family every, mo every weekly? ¿O no? Weekly. Finish. Oh, did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, ya vamos a terminar. Ahorita vamos a salir. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, All right. You. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Uh, I have the question. Yes, go ahead, Amber. The answer, the answer, for example, is um, she does go to work every day at 8 a.m. Uh, in, in positive, you don't use any auxiliary, uh, Amber. You use the verb directly. Uh, you don't say she does work okay. or she does listen. No, she works or she listen or she checks or she arrives directly. No does. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. No problem. It's okay. All right. So did uh, did everyone finish? Todos terminaron. Did everyone finish? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Let's listen to um. So in this oh. moment, you will report. Oh. You will report, but not your information. You will report your classmates' information. Yeah? Okay. Okay, Mauricio Antonio, it's your turn. So, Mauricio Antonio, um, who did you practice with? Who did you practice with? With Nestor mm, or? Loida. With Loida. Okay, so you share information about Loida. Yes. So, we listen to you. Uh, Loida checks a mail daily. Loida doesn't write a report every day. Loida sent posts monthly. Okay. Loida speaks with your manager weekly. If Loida has an evaluation yearly. Okay, excellent. That's really good, Mauricio. Just one thing, solo algo, only one thing. Um, Loida, okay. speak, Loida speaks with your manager or Loida speaks with her manager? What is correct? It speaks, ah, uh, it speaks. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. No, it's okay. It speaks is okay with 
with her manager or her, with your manager? Her, her manager. Her, her manager. manager, because it's su de ella, okay? Not my exactly. manager. Exactly. It's not my it's not my manager, it's her manager. Okay. All right, thank exactly. you, Mauricio. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to um a girl, Roxana. Roxana, are you connected? Yes. Roxana, hello. All right, I think she has connection problems. Okay, so let's listen to Jocelyn. Okay, uh, Ana Beatriz. All right. Hola, me escucha. Okay. Uh, Ana Beatriz me report daily at, at 6 a.m. Yeah. A.m. I.m. A.m. A.m. 6 a.m. 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 Okay. Uh, she she go the shopping monthly <laughs> at 11 a.m. Ana Beatriz check email every day at 7 o'clock. Eh, Ana Beatriz eh, have vacation every day, every year in March, August, and December. Okay. Eh, Ana Beatriz this is your family weekly eh, los sábados como diría on the, Saturdays. Eh, the on Saturdays. Saturday on Saturday. Saturday on Saturday okay finish all right thank you Jocelyn thank you very much that's excellent Jocelyn just one thing um you say Ana Beatriz visits your family or Ana Beatriz visits her family her or your family what is correct um here <laughs> here because su de ella no es mi familia si, si tú me dices sí. Ana, Bea, Ana Beatriz visits your family lo que hace Ana Beatriz is to visit my family right ella visita mi familia entonces okay, okay. so you say her family okay. Re just remember everyone okay, thank you Jocelyn thank you Jocelyn okay, just remember everyone ya solo recuerden si estoy hablando de un chico digo his for example, Mauricio Antonio visits his family, su de él. Or Ana Abigail visits her family, su familia de ella, her family. Pero no me digan visits your family, porque si no me están diciendo que visita mi familia, okay? And it's not my family that she visits, right? She visits her family, not my family, all right? So thank you very much. Uh, so let's listen to a boy, un chico. Uh, let's listen to Nelson. Yo no terminé, teacher, y no me recuerdo quién era mi... <laughs> okay. No me recuerdo el nombre. It's okay, no problem, it's okay. It's okay, Nelson. Okay, Roxana, are you ready? Roxana, are you ready? Hello. Hello, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, voy a apagar la cámara porque tengo problema. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. Okay, I speak about um, uh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Okay, you spoke with Juan Carlos. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Uh, Juan Carlos go to the work at 9 a.m. o'clock. Okay. She make reports weekly. She help people in every day, all time. She, he arranged meeting weekly at 2 p.m. Um, eso es todo. Only that, you say only that, eso es todo, only that, only, only that, only that. Okay, thank you, Roxana, thank you very much. Roxana, just don't forget the letter S, que no se te olvide la, la letra S en el verbo. He arranges meetings, he goes Okay, he goes to work. So don't forget the S, please. Okay, 
Thank you, Roxana. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see one last participation. Una última participación. Ana Beatriz. Who did you practice okay. with, Ana Beatriz? Is, um, Jocelyn. Ah, you practice with Jocelyn. Okay, uh, go ahead. She do, yes, yes. She is, do, do you, uh, is, sorry. She is, do you start and work at seven on club? Uh, she, do you chat in May? Uh, daily okay well, uh, Ana, eight on club Ana Beatriz give me a minute please Ana Beatriz sorry okay so in the in the in the in right now yes. you don't you don't have to say do you no debe decir do you solo directamente she y el verbo que usó she checks email she's she no she oh, checks okay. email she writes reports ese do you va solo en la pregunta ahorita ya no in this moment Sorry, in this moment, okay. you don't say it, okay? Okay. Okay, repeat it. Repeat, please. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, and one a question is, yes, she's a star in work and dialing at seven o'clock. She's chef in May and dialing at a.m. o'clock. Uh, she's every... Um, Every weekly at uh, seven city. Uh, she visit clients uh, monthly at four p.m. Uh, and tie leather at not. She and not. Okay, she, you say she doesn't type letters. She doesn't type letters. Ella no hace cartas. She doesn't type letters. She doesn't. Uh -huh. Type uh, she doesn't type letter. Okay, that's uh, excellent. She not. Okay, very good, excellent. So immediately you say thank she you. doesn't or he doesn't. Okay. Thank you, Ana Beatriz, and thank you everyone for your participations. Thank you very much. It's nine two already. Vamos a ir a un pequeño receso de dos minutos, pero ayer algunos se me quedaron mucho tiempo. Okay. Son dos minutos y siempre lo hago porque a veces es bien incómodo que algunos se, este, a veces nos estamos aguantando a veces de ir al baño, okay, porque de la cámara debe estar encendida. So, por eso siempre se dan dos minutos. Pero antes de que vayan al receso, solo quiero explicarles algo. I want to explain something quickly. So listen, escuchen, listen. Uh, we have the use of have. Have has two forms. We have have and we have has, okay? For he, she, and it, I use has. And for the rest of the pronouns, para los demás pronombres, I, okay, um, let me see, I, we, you, and they, I use have, uso el have. For example, I have one car, we have a class, you have a notebook. They have a book. He, he has a computer. She has a cell phone. It has food, all right? So he, she, it has. And the meaning is the same. Y el significado es el mismo, tener, okay? Have and has, tener. So it depends on the pronoun you are using. Depende del pronombre que estén usando, van a usar have or has. Esto es solo en positivo, en negativo y en preguntas siempre usamos el have. For example, she doesn't have, no vamos a decir she doesn't has, she doesn't have a book, for example, or what? He doesn't have a computer, decimos have, okay, in, in negative. And in questions the same, en las preguntas lo mismo, usamos el have también, like, does Jocelyn have a computer? Does um, Ana Beatriz have a notebook? El have para preguntas, el have para el negativo, el have, aunque usemos he, she, it. Cuando usamos el has, solo en oraciones positivas con he, she, and it. Ok, very good. So, that, that, that was for you only to, to, to remember. Yo creo que algunos ya lo estudiaron, pero es solo para recordar. It's just to 
Remember, ok? So, uh, let's take the two minutes. Tomemos los dos minutos en este momento y luego les paso asistencia, ok? So, two minutes and then you come back. Dos minutos y regresamos, ok? So, let's go, vamos. Let's go. Diez, nueve, ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Time is over. Se acabó el tiempo. Time is over. Ok. Thank you for being punctual. Gracias por ser puntuales. Thank you for being punctual. Thank you very much. Ok, so let's, let's continue with the class and right now I will pass the attendance. Ahorita le voy a pasar asistencia, ok? So, Ana Abigail. Ana Beatriz. <coughs> Carlos David. Edgar Alexander. Mando lista. Edgar. Voy. Edgar. 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 Ok, ok. Edgar. I'm here. Hazel. I'm here. Jacqueline. Lisset. Jacqueline Lisset. I'm here. Sorry for la yes. hora. The most important is that you're here. Jessica. Jorge Eduardo. Present. Juan Carlos. Right here, right here. Okay, Loida. I'm here, teacher. All right, very good. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio. He's connected. Okay, um, Maria Elena. Present, teacher. Sorry. All right. Yeah, it's okay. Maria Elena? Yes, right? I'm okay. here. Okay, Nelson. I'm here. Nestor. I'm here. Roxanne. Uh, Oscar, sorry. Oscar. Present. All right. Roxana. What happened with Roxana? Estaba conectada Roxana, ¿verdad? She was connected. Ok, Wendy, Natalie. I'm here. All right. Uh, Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joanna. I'm here. Angie Senia Marisol. 
Bless him. All right, very good. That's excellent. Very good. That's um, that was only the attendance, and now let's continue with 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 the other part. So listen, in the in the other part, in, in this. Your teacher. Sorry. I need. Okay. Okay. Let me see. All right. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, let's see. Um, so in the in this specific part, I have two questions. Let me see. I yeah, I think two questions. Let me see. Two questions. So just remember, practice makes perfect. So question number one. Pregunta número uno. How how, how many work. days a week do you work? Maybe you can say I work five days. Trabajo cinco días. How many days a week do you work? Or you can say I work six days or seven days. I don't know how many days you work. No sé cuántos días trabajo. So the question is how many days a week do you work? And the second question is how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes para completar tus tareas en el trabajo? So you can say, I have two hours, or I have eight hours, ocho horas, I don't know. I have seven hours, or six hours, or ten hours, no sé cuánto tiempo tiene. Okay, so you say, I have. I have one hour, I have two hours, three hours, four hours, I don't know. Yo no sé ahí, okay? So I, I will repeat the questions. How many days How many a week days do you work in? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? All right. So um, answer the questions in this moment, please. Contesten las preguntas en ese momento. Answer the questions in this moment, please. How many? Okay. Okay. Sorry? Sorry, Nelson? Eh, ¿En qué página está eso? Okay, ¿En qué página está okay. let, me, let, let me check. Deja, déjame revisar. Let me check. It's on page... 16. Yes. 16. On page 16. Okay. En la okay, página gracias. 16. On page 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Page 16. 16. Yeah. 16. Yeah. 16. Page 16. So in number one, in the answer, you can say, I work. And then you say the number of days you work. I work seven days. Or I work six days, for example. Okay? And in the second question, you say, I have two hours. Or I have... A lot of time, tal vez. I have a little time. I have a little time, tengo poco tiempo. Or I have a lot of time, tengo mucho tiempo, okay? I have a lot of time, you can say. Or much time. I have much time, you can say. All right, Amber finished. Excellent. That's very good. Thank you, Amber. Thank you very much. Glory well too.
All right, I think the majority, yeah, half has finished. La mitad ha terminado, half has finished. Okay, so just to remind you, Edgar, I think it's your private session today, right? Did you take notes, Edgar? Creo que es tu sesión este día. Tomaste notas, Edgar? Okay, uh, no, no, no lo recordaba honestamente, teacher, okay. pero, pero vaya. Pero, pero si tienes, si, si, si tienes tiempo, ¿verdad? You have time. Eh, sí, bueno, vengo llegando a mi casa que toda la semana estuve fuera. Ok, si, si alguien más puede cambiar contigo ese arreglo, se puede hacer. Si alguien más está dispuesto, ¿verdad? Por, por supuesto. Si alguien, por ejemplo, ah, si, la sí, hay... si la persona el día viernes quiere hacerlo hoy y no el viernes, y no mañana, perdón, tú puedes quedarte para mañana. Si alguien, si, si a la persona que le toca mañana quiere cambiar contigo, por supuesto, ¿verdad? Ah, pues si, si está de acuerdo, pues yo con gusto. Así me da más chance de, de ver alguna question okay. de clase. A Ember le toca el día de mañana. A por Ember Giovanni. No problema. ¿Ember? Por mí no hay ningún problema. Si quieres cambiar, no hay problema. Ok, Edgar, there you go. Entonces, Ember, eh, te quedas hoy y en el caso de Edgar, que se conecte mañana, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, thank you, Ember. Thank you, Ember. You're welcome. All right, so uh, I guess everybody, well, only Nelson, I guess, Jacqueline, and some of you haven't finished. All right, so it's basic. For, for this activity, I will start. It will be like... A, like a circle, let's say. It will, it will be like a circle, but it will be a virtual circle. Será un círculo virtual, okay? It will be a virtual circle. How come? ¿Cómo va, cómo va a funcionar esto? How will it work? So, I will ask somebody the two questions. Le voy a hacer las preguntas a alguien. Then that somebody chooses another somebody. Okay, luego esa persona elige a alguien más y vamos así como preguntando a diferentes personas, okay? So imagine I select Ana Abigail. So I ask her the two questions. And then Ana Abigail selects Jorge, maybe. And Ana Abigail asks Jorge the two questions. And then Jorge selects Nelson. And Jorge asks Nelson the questions, okay? Yeah, that's how we are going to do it. Okay, let's start. So I start, I start, yo inicio. So let's see, um, let me see here. Let me see who I can start with. Okay, I will start with, um, with Gloribel. Okay, Gloribel, so let's see. Question number one for you, Gloribel. Okay, let me look for the questions because I don't have them here. Okay, so Gloribel, question number one. How many days a week do you work? I work six days. How much time do you have to complete your tasks? I have eight hours. You have eight hours. Okay, thank you, Gloribel. Now you choose someone. Ahora es tu turno de elegir a alguien. Um, Mauricio Antonio. Okay. How many days a week do you work? I work five days. How much time do you have to complete your test at work? I have five hours. Okay, Mauricio, select someone, please. Uh, Maria Elena. Ah, pero la teacher, las la, la preguntas si no las tengo. Ok, let me show you. Las voy a poner por acá para que las puedas ver. Let me display the questions. Please. Go ahead, adelante. Mm, María Elena, how many days week do you work? I am work five days. Uh, Mar Maria Elena, how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? I am 
have eight hours in the day. Okay, Maria Elena, select someone. Elija alguien. Elige alguien. Uh, Nelson. Okay. Uh, Nelson, how many days a week do you work? <laughs> I work six days. And how much time do you have to complete your task at work? I am her aging oh thank you okay select a partner Mr. Gabarrete Oh, perdón, perdón, dice. Yes, yeah. eh, ahorita vamos a ver que no me aparecen los nombres. <laughs> Let me tell you names. Yesenia, eh, Edgar, Floyd, jo, uh, Jocelyn, Jorge, Jacqueline, eh, Gloribel, Ana Beatriz. Natalie. Ok, Natalie. Thank you. Natalie. Ok. Hi. Natalie. Ok. How many days a week do you work? I work five days. Okay. Uh, Dali, how much, uh, pardon, how much time do you have to complete your test at work? I have eight hours for to complete my work. Okay, Natalie, okay, okay, someone please. You. Uh, Loida Eunice. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> um, how many days a week do you work? I work five days a week. Okay. How much time do you have to complete your things at work? I have eight hours daily. Okay, thank you. When Vamos a ver. Eh, me la quitaron. ¿Quién no ha participado, teacher? Edgar. Jocelyn, uh, ¿verdad? Jocelyn, ya, yeah, Jocelyn hasn't participated. Jocelyn. How many days a week do you work? I go five days a week. Okay, how much time do you have to complete your test at work? I have a night or Okay, good. Thank you. Jocelyn, select a boy, please. Elijame a un chico que están dejando los chicos ahorita. Select a boy, please. <laughs> eh, Juan Carlos. Okay. Está conectado. Yeah, it's connected. I connect. Okay, Juan Carlos. No ha participado aún, ¿verdad? No, no, not yet. ¿Cómo no? Not in this activity. Not in this ah. activity. <laughs> Ay, Juan Carlos, vaya. Juan Carlos, how many days a week do you work? I work six days. Uh, how much time do you have to complete your task at work? I, <laughs> I have eight hours. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay. Don't choose anybody, Juan Carlos. Okay. Because we have to go to the next activity. So thank you for your participations. Just one, maybe the pronunciation of tareas. The pronunciation of tareas is tasks. Tasks. All right? Tasks. Yeah, that's the pronunciation. So how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Your tasks. Okay? Yeah? All right. Very good. So uh, let's move to the next activity quickly. And in the next activity, uh, we have one conversation. Okay? 
So in the come and let me show you the conversation here. It's on the book. Let me look for the book quickly. So do you see the do you see the conversation? Se mira la conversación. Do you see the conversation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So uh, yes, this yes. yes, right. Yes. So this conversation is between is between Ben and Jeff. This conversation is between Ben and Jeff is on page 16. Está en la página 16. Si tienen su material, es on page 16. Good. So please, the first time, listen to the pronunciation. The second time, listen to the, to the pronunciation. And the third time, we repeat. La tercera vez repetimos. Okay, so by now, only listen. Ahorita solo escuchen y sigan la lectura. Just listen and follow the reading. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four days. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for the extra hour? Yes. I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, listen again. Escuchemos otra vez. Listen again and pay attention to pronunciation. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. So, this time, let's repeat. Esta vez vamos a repetir, pero the same, la instrucción con el micrófono apagado, with the microphone off, ok? Siempre lo hacemos con el micrófono apagado porque, acuérdense, recuerden que en la casa a veces tenemos diferentes interferencias, ok? A veces nuestra hermana está viendo algún programa, nuestra mamá está viendo la novela, o a veces los niños están jugando y hay ruidos. So, it's preferable to repeat with the microphone off. Es preferible, mejor hacerlo con el micrófono apagado, ¿ok? Good, so let's repeat. Repitamos entonces. Jeff, how are you doing? Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10.
I see. Well, sometimes there is not much. Sorry, I will repeat it. Lo siento, lo voy a repetir. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, I repeat the, the conversation is on page 16, all right? So do you have any doubts about vocabulary? ¿Hay alguna duda acerca de, vocab de, de vocabulario que no sepan? Any word you don't know? Yes, teacher. Eh, eh, por lo menos donde dice... Jeff, Nara, donde dice Ben, Jeff. Yes, on are you, are you doing? Yeah, Jeff, how are you doing? Yes, uh, I. How are you doing is like, how are you? It's the no, same. Jeff, Jeff. Uh -huh. Jeff is a name. Jeff no, is a Jeff. name. Uh, yes, a Jeff. Jeff. It's a name. It's a name. Yes. Uh -huh. Donde okay. dice, I work Age. for weekdays. Donde dice? I work for weekdays. Yeah, I work for weekdays. Weekdays are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Weekdays. Días de la semana, weekdays, right? Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, weekdays. Mm -hmm. Pero normalmente weekdays se refiere de lunes a viernes, weekdays, all right? From Monday to Friday. Y luego ah, los días de fin de semana sería, sería, sería weekend, ¿ok? Ah, pero cuando dice I work for... Four, four weekdays, ajá, cuatro días de la semana. Cuatro días de four la semana. Weekdays. Exactly. So, any other question? Age. Uh -huh. Age, teacher, donde dice age, extra, cada. or... Each, ajá, each. Each, uh -huh. is, each. Each is cada, in this case. Each extra hour, cada... Hora extra. Thank you. Yeah, each is cada. Mm -hmm. mm. Each. Any other word? No? Teacher, well. Yeah. Yes. Well. Well, it's like, well, bueno, well. <laughs> I see. Well, sometimes, well is like, bueno. Yeah. Right. Right is. ¿Verdad? Like when we say in Spanish. ¿Te gusta esto? ¿Verdad? Ajá, ¿Verdad? That's the meaning of right. If you, if you see the... Oh, hold on. Espera un momento aquí. Dice click algo aquí que no hay. Okay. So if you, in this case, the sentence is, well, sometimes there is not much time. Right? A veces no hay mucho trabajo. ¿Verdad? Right? It's like to confirm something. Es para confirmar algo. Right? Yeah. Okay, so any other? Alguna otra? Y absolutely. 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 Absolutamente, o definitivamente in this case. Uh, yeah. All right, so any other question? No? Yes, okay, no problem. So the, the conversation is on page 16. Está en la página 16. It's on page 16. Okay, very good. The conversations are to practice, right? Las conversaciones se hicieron para practicarlas, to practice them. So obviously, we will practice this conversation. So please, let's go in pairs and practice the conversation. If you want to personalize the conversation, no problem. Okay? Si quieren personalizar la conversación, no hay problema. You can do it. Pueden hacerlo. To present afterwards, para presentar luego, okay? And use your own information. Usen su propia información. Use your own information, please. Okay? So, are you ready? Okay, let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar entonces. Let's go and practice. We'll go in pairs. Vamos a ir en parejas. We'll go in pairs because the conversation has two members. Okay?
Hi, teacher. Hello. Podemos dejarlo así como está, ¿verdad? Ah, yeah, yeah, you, you can do it. Okay. You can do it, but the, the idea is that you that you personalize, that you use your information because when you use your information, you learn more, aprenden más. You learn more when you use your information, okay? So, but if you want to do it the same, no problem. Si quieren hacerlo lo mismo, no hay problema. There's no problem, okay? It's up to you. Okay. Um, Abigail, I start. And you, yes, you are, yes. Yes, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, man. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. Work for weekdays and sometimes study. Uh, really? Oh. Otra okay. vez. Okay. Uh, next one. How are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Wendy. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work for which day, and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you can change roles. Uh, Pueden cambiar roles. You can change roles. Okay. 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 Yeah. Wendy. Oh, I do it. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Wendy, how are you doing? I want to ask. I want to ask I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hi Nestor. Well, I work 5 days a week and you? That's great. I work for for weekdays and some Saturday. Really? Saturday. On Saturday? Do you work ex I work do for for four week day and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday to work extra hours and how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Hour. Oh yes. I got extra hours when there is too, too much work to do. Too much, perdón. <laughs> too to do is extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Eso. Esto me cuesta. Absolutely. En, Absolutely. La pronunciación, ¿verdad? Que... Sí, me cuesta. Pero tiene una gran retentiva, compa, porque okay. sí que se acuerda de un montón de cosas. Yo la pronuncio, pero se me olvidan un montón de cosas. Hasta que la repito. Por ejemplo, como hemos repetido muchas veces en Plus ya se me quedó que es en Plus G. <ríe> ok. Ah, si quiere, volvamos a repetir okay. para afinar el. Hoy Bye. voy yo primero. Okay, Jeff, no how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? 
Hey, Ring, we'll go for five days with and you. That's right. I work for a week days and sometimes on Saturday. Mm, but Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not, there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Bye, dale, viejito. Yeah. Who are, who are you doing? I want to ask I want to ask you. How many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well I work five days a week. And you? That's right. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really on Saturdays. Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Y agregamos algo, algo más a la conversación. Lo dejamos así prácticamente aquí. Eh, how are you doing? ¿Qué, qué tú haces? Eh, quiero preguntarte algo. ¿Cuántos días trabajas a la semana? Eh, de aquí podríamos poner los, los días que, que pusimos en, en, el, en la pregunta que nos hicieron. ¿verdad? How many days a week do you work? Vos dijiste eh, los ocho días y trabajas 24 horas, vieja. El micrófono, el micrófono lo tenés apagado. Five days. Five. Cinco sí. días. Cinco días. Y, y, y las horas y el tiempo. Uh, 45. Cuatro horas, viejo. Ah, uh, uh, weekly. No, pero <ríe> semanalmente. Uy, no, yo dije, tiene el trabajo soñado de trabajar todo el día, viejo. Oh, de conectarte nueve. de todo. Nueve, nueve días, viejo. Yo mío, Juan Carlos. <ríe> no duerme. Yeah. Hey, teacher, una yeah. consulta. Dice yeah. él de que en el, en el grupo donde estaba él le dijeron que el A tendría que también a week se, se podría pronunciar a a a week ya se unió Juan Carlos es parte del chamo <risa> Laja, Loida y Jocelyn. Ah, ya. Yeah. Él también, sí. Juan Carlos, también se unió. So, y María so, Elena también. In this moment, there's a lot of gossiping in here. Hay mucho sangre aquí abierto. There's a lot of gossiping in here. Okay. Okay, very good. So, Juan Carlos, sorry, uh, the time was over, se terminó el tiempo, but you had a question, right? Can you repeat the question, Juan Carlos? Me decía el compañero de que en el grupo donde estuvo él, la palabra, la letra A, cuando lo ocupábamos en un, una, eh, lo decían o lo pronunciaban como A. En este caso, el ejemplo de a week o a week. Yes, yeah, yeah. you can say A, A, but in some parts of the United States, they say A, but it's like very it's not very common no es muy común es poco común de hecho is 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 a little is a little common all right um and it's old fashioned somehow y de alguna manera está como decimos nosotros pasado de moda decir decir hey all right and 
if you ask me teacher and then what do we use we use how we use a a book or a book i would say use a book la verdad yo en todo el tiempo que tengo de escuchar inglés solo a una persona a un gringo le he escuchado decir a hey. solo a un gringo y ahí con todos los gringos que he hablado dicen ah so i would say use a ah. it's okay to know but it's better to use a ah. está bien saberlo por si algún, algún día nos topamos con alguien que nos diga, hey, tal vez estamos pensando, hey, what's up here? ¿Qué andas aquí, right? So may, maybe it's okay to know it. Pero es mejor usar el A, porque es el más común. It's the most common. So I don't know if I answered your question, Carlos. No sé si contesto tu pregunta. Yeah. Okay, very good. But it's okay to know. Es muy bueno saber esas cosas. It's good to know that. Okay. So um, did everyone finish? ¿Todos terminaron? Did everyone finish? Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's listen to some pairs. Okay, let's listen. Any volunteers, voluntarios? Do I have volunteers? I don't want to point to point at you this time, okay? So I want you to volunteer. Quiero voluntarios, I want volunteers. Any volunteers? Oh my God, que escaso están los voluntarios aquí ahorita. <laughs> so any, okay, Elga. And then Jocelyn. Okay, who is your pair? Okay. Mm, Jocelyn. Oh, okay, Edgar and Jocelyn, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Muy bien. Uh, Edgar, how are you doing? I got to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Jocelyn. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work by with day and sometime on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how money? How much money do you they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there's there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around ten dollar. Uh, I see. Will sometimes there is not much, much time, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Let's give them thumbs up. Demos le deditos hacia arriba. Let's give them thumbs up. Like this, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's listen to Oscar Arnulfo. Who is your pair, Oscar Arnulfo? Jacqueline Gloribel. Okay, go ahead. Jacqueline, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? The microphone in Jacqueline Dorivel. Hey, Oscar, will I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work six, day, say six days a week and sometimes Monday. Really? On Monday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour. Uh, I don't pay extra hour in my job. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Um, okay, very good. That's excellent. Okay, so let's give them thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up, please. Thumbs up for them. I'm sorry about you, Oscar, but they don't pay you extra hours. I'm sorry about you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's, it's common, right? In companies in El Salvador, it's common that they don't pay extra hours. Don't worry. It's not only you. I guess everybody has the same problem. Creo que todos tienen el mismo, el mismo problema, imagino. Everybody has the same problem. All right, Oscar. And and company in Glory Bell. Thank you very much. Let's listen to another pair. Okay, let's see Jorge Aquino. Who is your pair, Jorge? 
Oscar, ¿qué ha pasado? Y Ana, Ana Beatriz. Ok, so you can do it with Ana Beatriz. Okay. Ana, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, uh, sorry. Hey, Jorge, will I work five days a week? And you? That's great. I work four week day and sometimes on Saturdays. Rainy on Saturday? Do you work extra hard? And how much money do you pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is no much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Let's give them thumbs up, please. Everybody, let's give them thumbs up. Demos le thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up. Very good. Excellent work, Jorge and Ana Beatriz. So let's listen to the last pair. Escuchamos una última pareja de voluntarios. Volunteers, okay? I'm not pointing at anybody. Volunteers. Voluntarily. Okay, Nelson. I think Nelson is raising hands. Nelson está levantando la mano, ¿no? Okay. Con eh, Floyd. Okay. 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 Ay, no quería participar, Loida. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Ok, ok, ok. Um, ok. okay. Um, ben. Comienza usted, Loida. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? When will I go five days a week and do? That's right. I work four weeks days and sometimes on Saturdays. That's great. I work four weeks days and sometimes on Saturday. You are Jeff, really? On Saturday. Okay, really on Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours. When there is a two months work to do. This extra hour is around ten dollar. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. okay thank you very much. Okay, let's give them thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up, please. Thumbs up for them. Thank you very much for your participation. All right. So for all the pairs. Thank you for your participations. Remember, practice makes perfect. I repeat this phrase, listen to this phrase, practice makes perfect. So the more you practice, the better. Entre más practican mejor, the more you practice, the better. In my classes, I like, I like to see my students practicing, okay? En las clases que yo hago normalmente me gusta verlos practicando más que, que lo que yo hago. So that's, that's important. Because in the end, I know a little bit of the language. Yo sé un poco ya del idioma, pero yo necesito que ustedes sepan más del idioma. Okay, so it's, you are the main, um, the main focus here. Ustedes son lo, lo principal aquí. You are the main focus here. So uh, thank you for your participation. In this moment, I will pass attendance again. Me pasaré asistencia otra vez, okay? So Ana Abigail. Okay. I'm here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Carlos David. No se conectó Carlos David, ¿verdad? Edgar Alexander. 
I'm here. Ember Giovanni? Present. Hazel Sarain? Present. Jacqueline Iser? I'm here. Jessica Lourdes tampoco se conectó, ¿verdad? Jorge Eduardo? Present. Juan Carlos? I'm here. Loida? I'm here. María Elena? I'm here. Mauricio Antonio? Present. María Elena? I'm here. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Mauricio Antonio, right? Nelson? I'm here. Okay, perfect. Nestor? I'm here. Good. Oscar? I am here, teacher. Roxana? I'm here, Roxana? teacher. Oh, okay, that will be okay. Thank you. Okay, Wendy, Natalie? I'm here, teacher. Jacqueline Gloriven? Present. Jocelyn Joanna? I'm here. Roberto Antonio? No, verdad. Yesenia Marisol? Present. Good, that's excellent. Okay, to, to finish the class, para terminar la clase, to finish the class, in this moment, um, I want you, I want you all, quiero que todos, I want you all, to ask me questions. I want you to ask me questions, okay? Quiero que me hagan preguntas. I want you to ask me questions using do you, okay? So raise your hand and ask the question. Levanten la mano y hacen, pueden hacer preguntas por un minuto, por one minute. So for example, you can say, oh, Bernardo, uh, do you check email every day? I say, yes, I do or no, I don't. Okay, so please ask me questions. Ask me preguntas en este momento, ask me questions. Okay, let's see, Jocelyn. Uh, Bernardo, do you go the shopping? When? On Monday, every day? Or... Monthly. Monthly. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Me <call> okay. it. <laughs> Repeat the question, please. Repeat the question. Okay. <laughs> do you go the shopping monthly? Um, no, I don't. I go shopping yearly. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Anybody? Okay, let's see Lloyd that. Loida. Do you go to the church quickly? Quickly. Weekly or quickly? <laughs> I, weekly. Weekly. Oh, yes, I do. I go to the church weekly. And daily sometimes. Okay, let, let's, let's see Maria. Teacher, do you write reports? Um, yes, I do. Yearly or monthly, but yes, I do. Okay, very good. So listen, now I, I want some others to ask me questions. Quiero que algunos me hagan otras preguntas, pero luego le van a preguntar a los compañeros. Das Bernardo, para, que, para ver si están poniendo atención, to keep their paying attention, okay? Okay, let's see. So, somebody else, alguien más? Okay, for example, lo que me preguntó María. Uh, or Lloyd, I think I, I don't remember. I was Jocelyn, sorry, Jocelyn. So she asked me, ella me preguntó, teacher, do you go shopping monthly? Y si yo le digo, yes, I do. Luego ella le va a preguntar a todos ustedes. Okay, class, does Bernardo go shopping monthly? Y usted le va a decir, yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Okay? So that's what you will do in this moment. Eso es lo que hará en este momento. So, volunteers, voluntarios, volunteers. Just two volunteers, solo dos voluntarios, y luego terminamos la clase. Just two volunteers. Si no hay voluntarios, no termino la clase, entonces. <laughs> okay, let's see, María Elena. Good, estrategia. No sé cómo, estrategia. <laughs> um, other question. Okay. Do you organize meeting monthly? No, I don't. Ahora pregúntale a Bernardo. 
that Bernardo organized meeting monthly classmate. No, 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 um yes i do in the pandemic yes yes i do now ask the class ahora pregúntale a la clase en eso das bernardo nelson bernardo visit sí das bernardo das visit student Nelson, change the question. Does Bernardo, yes. does Bernardo visit students? Repeat the question for the class, please. Nelson. Does Bernardo visit students? Class? Yes, he does. 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 Okay, yes. class. Thank you for connecting. Gracias por conectarse como siempre. Thank you for connecting. And remember, please, remember to work on the homework. Recuerden trabajar siempre las tareas para que el día viernes ya estemos listos. Okay, so you have a free weekend. Okay, so thank you for connecting. Gracias por conectarse. Solo se me queda enter on the Ember Space. So thank you very much and good night. Sweet dreams. Good night. 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 <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, teacher. Okay, Amber, how are you? Ah, uh, tired. Tired, yeah. I imagine, I imagine. I feel the same, I am tired too. <laughs> yes. Uh, my question is, um, what is it, for the use? For the use? For the use, uh, how many and how much? Okay, very good. How many and how much in questions, right? Uh, because you can use it to connect sentences. So, se puede usar en preguntas. You can use it in equations and to connect sentences. Okay? So, in questions, in questions, first let, let's go to questions. Okay? In questions, how many is plural? How many is for plural nouns? For example, how many books, plural, how many books do you have? Or... How many cell phones, plural? How many cell phones do you have? Or how many what? How many televisions are there in your house? Plural, how many televisions? So how many is for plural? And how much is for uncountable? Things you cannot count. Cosas que no se pueden contar. For example, you can say how much money how much money uh, do you earn, for example? How much money do you earn? Or how much, what? Let me see, how much time? Porque el tiempo no se puede contar. You can count time, right? How much time do you have for doing this, for example? How much time, how much chocolate, for example? How much chocolate do you eat every day? Okay? Okay. Uh... Y en el caso, por ejemplo, ¿se pueden utilizar también para personas, animales? ¿O solamente yes. tienen que referirse a, a, a cosas? Yes, you can use people like how many people, for example. How many students? How many students? Okay, may, maybe you can ask me. Bernardo, how many students do you have? How many students? Yeah, it's okay, it's possible. No, no sé si es la pregunta. 
No sé si a eso te refieres con la pregunta. Sí, sí o sea, es que estuve viendo, estuve revisando en la plataforma y en, en alguna de las tareas aparecía eso y tenía la duda porque no sabía cómo diferenciar en dónde iba a utilizar el how many y en dónde iba a utilizar el how much. Ok. Pero ahora sí. Ahora sí, ya, ya, ya me quedó bastante ah, claro. Yeah. Tomorrow, eh, we, we will study that tomorrow. Mañana vamos a estudiar eso, así que ya, ya te adelantaste un poquito. Pero es ok, no problem. Está bien, no hay ningún problema. El inconveniente, el, bueno, me adelanto un poco en las tareas porque durante la semana, pues, Casi no nos queda tiempo y yeah. cuando termino la clase ya termino bastante cansado, pues la verdad. Ay, cuando sí. tengo tiempo, mejor me adelanto. Ya, yeah. eh, es mejor. Sí, eso y, y lo otro, pues eh, igual sigo teniendo problemas sobre cómo poder expresarme, cómo poder armar. Eh, he intentado hacer varias cosas, por decir algo, he intentado aprender nuevo vocabulario. He intentado, cuando ando manejando, por ejemplo, primero pensar qué es lo que quiero decir y, y luego me pongo como a querer armar la frase, pero sí se me está haciendo complicado. No sé si tendrá algo otro truco. Por otro ahí, tipo. Para que me sí. Ok. Um, muy bien. En, normalmente, a veces hay que ser, ¿cuánto tiempo tienes de estudiar inglés? Eh, pues en realidad, estudiar, estudiar solamente este, este curso, o sea, yo lo que sé, prácticamente lo hice en el bachillerato, con lo que me enseñaron el bachillerato, y, y que yo me pongo a estar leyendo cosas en inglés, por ejemplo, o me pongo a estar escuchando algunas cosas, pero hay algunas cosas que se las entiendo y otras que no, por lo que me comentaba la vez pasada, de la velocidad con la que se habla, pero, o sea, clases así, como dicen, eh, Formal. Formal hasta ahora. Ok, ya, yeah. eh, te, te pregunto eso porque de el, el aprender un idioma es un proceso. Es un proceso. En inglés existe lo que es input and output, que decimos nosotros. El input es como la información que tú recibes, the information you get. Y el output es lo que tú produces. Ok, input and output. Ahora bien. Te, te digo eso porque el, el inglés es un proceso en el cual primero, si estás sometido a un proceso, primero vas como una esponja adquiriendo, 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 adquiriendo. Y después viene el, el, la parte donde tú empiezas a producir. Pero no es que vas a adquirir de un solo y vas a producir ya automáticamente una gran fluidez. Que es un proceso, es un proceso, es un proceso. En el cual recuerda que el cerebro se tiene que adaptar a un nuevo idioma. Entonces tiene que ir libro by libro, poco a poco. De que se adapta ya de una vez. Así que hay que ser un poquito paciente. Si estás haciendo varias cosas, de las cosas que te di, de otras cosas que tú estás haciendo personalmente, siento que lo que necesitas es un poquito de paciencia. Al ir a ir ok, claro, sin dejar de practicar, sin dejar de intentar cosas, ok. Pero sí un poquito de paciencia, nada más, al ir a ir a ok. Y personalmente, si tú me preguntas a mí, ¿Cuánto, este, en qué momento usted empezó a producir? Bueno, realmente, de cuánto tú vas a producir depende de qué tan expuesto estés al idioma. ¿Ok? En mi caso, cuando yo estaba aprendiendo inglés, no estaba muy expuesto al idioma. O sea, llevaba una materia en inglés el primer ciclo en la U, en, la, en el segundo ciclo llevaba solamente dos materias en inglés. Y en el segundo año, ese sí, ya empecé a llevar un poquito más, pero empecé a producir en el segundo año. Pero porque el inglés que yo recibía no era suficiente. O sea, era solo una materia. Solo estamos hablando de cuatro horas semanales. Y en que se daban las cuatro horas. Pero en el caso que ustedes van un poquito más rápido, con diez horas semanales, trabajando plataforma y haciendo varias cosas, y con clases prácticas que ya van como digiriendo más información, yo entendería que el proceso es más rápido. The process is faster than that. Por el... La verdad es que sí. Ajá. La verdad es que sí, sí, yo, bueno, a mi esposa le comento, por ejemplo, de que es, es, es mucho, o sea, no, no es nada comparado a lo que yo había visto anteriormente, la forma como enseña, eh, el, 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 esa relación que da entre la práctica y, y lo que nos habla, eh, lo hace bastante dinámico y, y pues la verdad es que sí siento que estoy aprendiendo, no le voy a mentir eso. 
siento que estoy aprendiendo, pero quizás sí es cuestión de poner un poquito más de paciencia porque quiero hacerlo como que muy rápido. Sí, sí, y no es malo. De hecho, eso, eso no es malo porque eso como que este, te presiona más a, a seguir intentando cosas y eso al final va a funcionar. Así va a funcionar, solo que no hay que esperar que funcione así de, ya de un solo, de entrada, digamos, sino que es un proceso. Sí. Es un proceso. Sí, creo que sería todo, teacher. Ok. Estoy bastante contento con las clases. Ok, perfecto. That's the idea. Esa es la idea. Que lo disfruten y sobre todo que aprendan, ¿verdad? Aparte de disfrutar. Sí, exacto. Bueno, okay. muchas gracias entonces. Feliz noche. Okay. Good night. Thank you for, okay, thank you for staying. Good night. Good night. Ok, bye.